morning. What was Hurricane Matthew has been downgraded and moved on, but it left quite a lot of damage, even took lives along the way. Yeah, millions of people still without power this morning, and it really seems as though North Carolina may have taken the brunt of this storm. We've got Naomi Peskovitz in studio with us today. She's got the problems that mm -hmm. people are facing, really not only today, but in the days to come. Yeah, it could last about a week or so. Just the flooding piece of this, and the death toll, unfortunately, we've learned is rising. Just learning this morning that 19 people have been killed across four states, more than half of them in the Carolinas, and that number could grow. Almost 1,000 people have been rescued since the storm. Some pulled from rooftops and car tops and taken out by boat. In North Carolina, five people still missing this morning. Thousands are still in shelters and hundreds of thousands across this the state don't have power. A bird's eye view shows how many homes are still underwater. You can see them here in some areas. Saw almost a foot or more of rain. Many counties still under a state of emergency this morning. North Carolina's governor says the flooding could last all week and rivers will set record breaking levels. One woman watched the water creep right up to her home. I have never seen anything like this. And the water got all the way up to my top step, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then it just it stopped. And despite some of these devastating pictures, the U.S. was actually fortunate compared to Haiti. There, almost 900 people have died because of Hurricane Matthew. So when you see those pictures and realize... The death toll could have been so much worse, but still, yeah, the latest this morning, we're hearing 19 people have died and a, a couple still missing. All right. Thank